Welcome back, everyone. Balancing time for your kids and for yourself can just seem yeah. impossible at times. Well, here with her new book, Time to Parent, is best-selling author and organization expert, Julie Morgenstern. Thank you for being here, Julie. Thank you for being it's, here. We need you badly. We need you badly. I mean, I think everybody at home can agree, too. This is something that is so important but so often overlooked, and I think kind of a manual to help us organize mm -hmm. our time as parents didn't really exist before this. So let's start with something in your book, the framework that you begin with to help us manage our time as parents. Okay, so, you know, job ambiguity in any role is a recipe for overwork, inefficiency, and insecurity. Okay. okay. And parents have been operating that way for generations. Oh, I see. There's no job manual, there's no instruction right. manual. Yeah. You don't know where the edges are, you don't know, the job feels infinite. Right. And you never can feel confident in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna solve that problem. Okay. That's what I did. Huh? And you I solved, solved it? it? I did. Well, if you solved that problem, my goodness, we have we needed you a long, long time ago. <laughs> so, yes, I wish I had this when I was raising my daughter. Okay, so it's a really simple way to think about how to organize your time okay. during the full span of the parenting years. All right. Cradle to college. First, break the job into two parts. Raising a human and being a human. Yeah. And then each of those have four components. Mm. So talk about, we all want to raise happy, healthy kids. Right. Mm -hmm. There's four things you have to divide your time between to do that for your kids. Mm -hmm. You have to provide for your kids. And they spell an acronym, PART. Okay. As part. in doing your part okay. for another person. P, you have to provide for your kids, right? Okay. You gotta make money, manage money, pay for stuff. You have to arrange the logistics of their lives. Yeah. It's a nightmare for most parents. Where are they going to school? How are they getting there? What are they eating for lunch? What are we having for dinner, et cetera? Yeah. The next is R, relate. You have to relate to your kid and find out who this person is mm. as an individual, so a unique person, right? right. Yeah. And then we have to, the last uh, is T, for teach. We have to teach our kids values and right. life skills. And relating and teaching are different. Yes. And as parents, we often mm. combine them. Yes. But it feels different. When you're teaching a kid, they're the student of you. When you're relating to your kid, you are the student of the child. Oh, that's, that's nice. so sweet. So that's the part. So that's the part. What about the other part? But <laughs> we're not only responsible for our kids' well-being, we're responsible for our own well-being, yep. too. And you Which cannot suffers do completely. it totally out the window. You yeah. feel guilty doing it, can't figure out how to do it. But you cannot do your part for another if you are running on fumes. Right. When well, they tell you when the mask falls in the that's airplane, it. you have to put the mask on yeah. first to help the person next that's to you. That's a good analogy. I like yeah. That. So four things you have to juggle your time between to be a happy, healthy human who can do their part. You have. They also spell an acronym. Self. Self. As oh. in fueling yourself. Appropriate. So four okay. things. S, sleep. You have to sleep. Mm. Mm. You have to be a sleep ninja. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Exercise to feel fit and healthy and energetic. It helps so much. Love, mm -hmm. which is adult, you know, your significant other or your friends or adult to adult Contact, relationships. Yes. Absolutely. Friendship. Fuel you so not you can't romantic love. Yeah, no, not fuel. connection with no. others. Connection with right. other yeah. grown ups Very for good. grown up interaction right. and nurturing. Yeah. Okay. And fun. Oh. And oh. Exactly. Everybody just. <laughs> Remember that. Remember that. I know. I'm going to go back to that when my kids are off in college, but it doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, honestly, we've said this many times on the set. I used to be fun. Yeah. Right. Like, what happened? That was fun once upon a time. You're, you're fun to you're, me, Debbie. But you're oh. so overwhelmed with so many things. I and mean, yes. we're so yeah. happy that yeah. you were here. And obviously, it's we all great. have so many questions on how to better manage our time so we could achieve these things. So we're going to start yeah. with Ken first. So here's my issue. So I'll tell you what my what's going on in my head and if that's right or wrong. So I don't live here. I live in San Francisco with my husband and three kids. I work here. So I come down and for three days, every week, 52 weeks a year, seven years, mm. I'm away from my children. Mm. The guilt is enormous. Mm. I then go back and the other two days of the work week, I'm full on parent. I'm baking cookies, I'm dropping off at ballet, I'm doing that. In my mind, it all evens out, but still there is three days a week, I am completely absent. Yeah. And the guilt is huge. Mm. Yeah, I understand mm. that. So I did eight years of scientific, re I read the science on what do kids need to feel loved and secure to write Gosh, My heart book. is beating so much yeah. right now. <laughs> I know. And here, it was so hard to get the answer, but this is what I found out. And it's very liberating. Children thrive on short bursts of undivided attention, eye to eye, not half in your phone, but like fully present of like five to 15 or 20 minutes at a time delivered consistently. 
not big blocks of time delivered occasionally. Mm. So you can do that, though, as a traveling parent, because we all can, if you just take the first five or 10 minutes of every reconnection point in your kid's day, right. when they wake up, when they go to school, when you get home from work, you know, dinner, whatever, right. bedtime, you can do that when you're present, in the time you already have, and then when you're traveling, set your alarm and keep that mm. connection going. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. right. And then you right. don't have so much to make up for, right? right? right. right. It's and just, just have that five or 10 minutes of constant, pure. Pure. Right. You just clear yeah. your head, and it should be at the first recontact with your kid. Right. It's like when your kid walks in the room, your eyes should light up. When they first see you, right. when they wake up, you should not be, hurry up, get dressed, where's right. your yeah. shoe? But right. how did you sleep? You feel ready for your day. Just, uh, just I love to hear that. Just connection. Connection. Oh. And, and once this. you do that baseline, right. larger chunks of, of undivided time are bonuses. They can make right. memories. Yeah. But the stuff of a confident human is that every day I see you, I hear you. And you can, can do that when you're present or... and remotely. There's FaceTime, yeah. Yeah. Sure. There's phone and calls. And there's, if I can get that in, they, they are, That's it, they're and they're fine. fine, and everything else yeah. is fine. And then you don't have to be all on for your three days, which is probably exhausting to you, <sighs> right. because you're right. trying to make up. You make don't up have so much to make, right. no. We can and, all learn from this yeah. for sure. Well, that is that's such great a great advice. answer, it's a great so question. Freeing. I think a lot of people can Yeah, whether you're away three days a week or not. Exactly. We just come to work at the same thing. home parent. Right, yeah. And recognize that you don't have to be all on all day. Connect with your kids, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, then together but a part-time is healthy for kids, right. then you can come back together. So you don't need That's to be right. all on all That's the great. time. It's liberating. Yeah. Well, I mean, Thank listen, you. that was a, that was an all-encompassing answer uh, yes. to, to many questions. We've got more for you, uh, <laughs> probably off camera that we'll have time for. <laughs> Can you stay for two hours? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. How much time do we have, uh, guys? You'd want to oh check out gosh, Julie's Julie, book, Time fantastic. to Parent. It's available now wherever books are sold. That's just a drop in the bucket of Seriously. all the help that we can get. So thank Seriously, you so much. Seriously, thank you so much. It's mm -hmm. such an important book. I cannot emphasize that enough.